So hello and welcome back. So essentially, the in this video, what we will talk about is writing and is about writing and reading and reading large numbers. So essentially when it comes to for example some number like 23 23 trillion so um so for example 23 trillion i don't know 565 for example billion 954 million so that's a billion that's a million uh, for example, 237,465. You see over here that, so that's a, that's basically a thousand. That's all the way up to here is a thousand. And that's a million. That's a billion and that's a trillion, right? So now this number is 23 trillion. 565 billion 954 million 237,465 right <clears throat> as you can see writing these numbers down is of course i mean it's not easy it's confusing i mean if if you were to write for example 465 or 15,000 it would be easy i mean there is no there is there is there is usually no confusion about these numbers but then when you're when you're writing essentially a number like this uh, you always you have to keep track of essentially keep track of the, the digits that you have to put after after essentially after each group of numbers for example when 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 if if i ask you to write 23 trillion and so on and so forth then instantly you have to remember that after essentially after a trillion then there is supposed to be for example one two three four of these groups of numbers so then this group is has to be there this group the all of these four groups have to have to be there four times six is, is is essentially a um, 12 essentially digits have to be after this digit so that this becomes a 23 trillion right if it's supposed to be, for example, in billion, then there is supposed to be only nine digits after it. It's, if it's supposed to be a million, then there is supposed to be only six digits after it. And so, so essentially, you have to keep track of all of these in your mind. Now, one thing that you can do in order to write such numbers, of course, as you saw, basically, I had to, I used essentially these commas in order to keep track of what I'm doing, right? But then again, even if you use the commas, still, you have to keep track of the digits. Now, one thing that I see in this text, which is, well, a good way of uh, dealing with the, with the same problem of keeping track of the digits, is using essentially um, um, is using essentially tables it essentially if you make up different tables for the different digits and then write then essentially write the numbers essentially in those tables under the same columns then of course there is there is there is not uh, not much chance of making mistakes right so and one way that one way that you can essentially build those tables is by for example if you have a number uh, suppose that you have a, for example three digit number for example 257 right of course this is just an example 257 doesn't really need a table i just want to introduce the the, the structure of the table so in the in this number basically the seven is in the ones place value the five is in the is in the tens place value and the basically and, and the two is in the hundreds place value right so what you can do is that you can write essentially um you can write essentially you can make up a table like this 
and write for example something like this and write for example the ones place value the tens place value the hundreds place value the thousands place values which would be for example in this case you would write it as a th the ten thousands place value would be tth for example you could make up different different essentially um, abbreviations for the for the place value names and then uh, and then of essentially you have the ten thousand so you have essentially the let's let's write it a, a large number for example a ten a hundred million for example and then if i wrote this number in the indian system it would be essentially one two so that's one one zero 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 right so that's eight zeros and that's six five seven nine and that's it that's a three plus two is five five seven and nine um that's a six eight i made a mistake i suppose so a hundred million would be essentially a three digits here one two digits so that's ten zero 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 right that's three and that that's a, that's essentially four seven eight digits and eight essentially eight zeros here eight zeros here right so in this number which is which has been written in of course that's 10 crore basically which is 100 million right in this number you can see that you have the ones that you have the ones essentially you have the tens place value the hundreds place value the thousands place value the ten thousands place value and then over here you have the uh you have the lakh and this is the 10 lakh so then you could you could essentially increase essentially you have you can write essentially like over here and then you can write the 10 like over here which would be t l a k h right and then essentially your number you can write it under this table so for example then um then essentially for example 257 you would write it as 200 that's the hundreds place value 50 that's the tens place value and 7 would be essentially a um, in the ones place value right or and then and then of course when you write your numbers this way for example under 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 the right columns essentially in a table it becomes easy to expand to to do the expansion of the number if it's necessary for example then based on the table now you know that 257 is nothing but 2 times because it's a hundreds place value that's 2 times 100 and then you have basically this is the tens place value so that's 5 times a 10 and then that's a, that's the ones place value so that's 7 times a 1 right or if you have for example 2902 let's say that you have 2902 so 2000 so that's in the thousands place value so that's a essentially that's a 2900 that's nine in the hundreds place value and two two would be in the ones place value right and then of course over here you have to fill the place value with a zero right which means that then essentially to expand this number you would write this as two times a thousand because two is in the thousands place value plus nine times a hundred plus basically zero times a ten plus two times a one right so that this way essentially things become simple of course um, and then um, suppose that you want to write for example some other numbers now suppose that suppose that you want to write for example the number for example this number over here which is let's say uh, <coughs> <coughs> Let 
let's say you want to write for example 735 735 uh, excuse me 734 for example 543 so I separate the digits based on the based on the Indian system so that's three digits and two digits <clears throat> so the number becomes essentially seven lakhs thirty four thousand five hundred forty three so seven lakhs would be seven lakhs under lakh thirty four thousand so thirty would be in the ten thousands place value four would be in the thousands place value 500 so 5 would be in the hundreds place value 4 would be in the tens place value and 3 would be in the ones place value so that's basically that <coughs> or and then you can you can essentially you can um, uh, expand this number very easily using the table so you have the seven lakhs thirty four thousand five hundred forty three. So that's that would be essentially seven times a lakh, which is a hundred thousand. Seven times a hundred thousand plus, for example, three, which is in the ten thousands place value. So that's three times ten thousand, and then four in the thousands place value over here. Four, which is four times a thousand plus basically um, five which is in the in the in the hundreds place value so five times a hundred plus uh, four which is in the tens place value four times ten and three which is in the ones place value so three times one that that way you can you can expand the number and of course the same table you can expand it to larger place values as well so for larger place values if you uh, essentially if you have let's say that you have a number zero 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 and that would be essentially all the way up to lakh and then if you go another two that would be essentially a basic for example one this would be one crore and this this number would be essentially a 10 crore right so you have to essentially you for these three digits you have to go all the way up to here for these two digits you go these two digits these two digits would be these two digits and then the the crore would be for example let's write cr for the crore and then 10 crore would be tcr for example right and then let's say that your number is let's say that your number is this number over here let's say that your number is for example 257 uh, I, I will write it over here so that we have more space 257 uh, 345 Two five seven three four five forty three. Separate the digits three two and two. That's two crores fifty three lakhs thirty four thousand five hundred forty three. Two crores fifty three lakhs thirty four thousand five hundred forty three. Right. Of course, this is 57 lakhs and not 53 lakhs, right? Now, in order to, in order to basically to expand this number, what you can do is that, of course, you don't have to memorize anything. Based on the same table, you can, you can essentially, you can understand everything. So, what I mean by that is that, let's say that, for example, you want to, you want to expand this 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 um, number so two lakhs so two, excuse me two crores crore essentially what is a crore one crore is the same as what is the same as so you have basically we are looking for this place value so we have three digits over here another three digits over here and then 
essentially if I write this as a zero and a one so that's one zero and then six digits in front of it one zero six digits six zeros in front of it which is a 10 million and previously we said that essentially one crore is the same as one crore is the same as 10 million right so which means that basically um, which means that this place value would be a 10 million so that's two times a 10 million right and then you have the five which is in the 10 like essentially 10 like place value so if this is if this place value is a 10 million then the next place value would be a, a essentially a million so that's five times a million then if basically then the the, the seven over here is in the is in the is in the likes place value so the like is a hundred thousand so that's seven times a hundred thousand right and then for the three three is in the ten thousands place value right is in the ten thousands place value so plus three times essentially a ten thousand and then you have the essentially four in the thousands place value you have four in the thousands place value you have five in the is in the is in the hundreds place value plus five times a hundred plus four times a ten plus three times a one right so that 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 way you can expand your numbers write your numbers know the essentially make sure that you you're writing the place values right and so on and so forth it's 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 very it, it's very handy so that's that's all about um, that's essentially using these tables is essentially one way that one one way that that can help you in in writing essentially your numbers so that 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 that's one thing and of course um, using basically using commas also is another way of um, another aid in writing your numbers for example let's say that you have 60 let's say that you have this number over here let's say that you have 65 3 65 32 75 65 32 75 829 right and if i separate three digits two digits two digits that would be essentially 65 so that would be essentially um now to write this number i write it over here so let's say that this is 829 and this is 75 and this is 32 and this is 65 which means that this number is 65 crores 32 lakhs 75,000 and 829 right now you see that basically in writing this number i used basically i separated the, the the digits essentially with these commas and so these commas are helping me to understand essentially what the number is so essentially i know that if i go all the way up to here it's a thousand and then it's a lakh and then it's a crore and so the the commas essentially are helping me to understand essentially what the number is so using the comma of course is important and the same number 65 32 75 829 i can write it also using the commas in the international system of numeration meaning three digits here three digits here and three digits here based on the international system of numeration that would be 653 million 275,820 uh, 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 
829, right? So the number becomes 653,275,829, right? So the, the comma, you can use it for the, for the, essentially you can use it in the, in the Indian number system of numeration and also in the international system of numeration. And, uh, of course, you have to, you have to use the comma differently because in the Indian system, you have three digits, two digits, two digits, two digits. But in the international system, it's three digits, three digits, three digits, all the way up to the end of the number, right? Now, now other examples for using the comma would be, for example, let's just take the exam, let's take essentially these numbers over here. Let's take, for example, five, zero, eight, zero, one, five, ninety two right this number if i want if i were to write it in the in the indian system and if i were to separate the the digits using commas in the indian system i would have to write essentially so five zero eight zero one five ninety two zero eight zero one five ninety two in the indian system three digits two digits two digits so this would be five crore eight lakhs one thousand five hundred ninety two right that would be five crores meaning that if i write the number over here five hundred ninety two zero one and zero eight and five that would be five crores eight lakhs one thousand five hundred ninety two right but then in the Essentially, the same number in the international system of numeration would be three digits here, three digits here, which would be 50,801,592. 50,801,592, right? Or as another example, let's say that you have... You have this number over here. Let's say that you have 332 and 40781, right? So the same number 332 40 40781. In the Indian system, three digits, two digits, two digits. So that's three crores, 32 lakhs. 40,781, right? In the international system, that would be three digits, three digits, which is 33,240,781. In the Indian system, three crores, 32 lakhs, 40,781. And that's essentially how you use the, the comma, right? Now, as an exercise, try to do essentially these exercises over here. As many of them as you want, of course. So you have, you, essentially, there are these numbers over here. You want to read them and write them using the placement boxes and write their expanded forms for these numbers, which is the smallest number, which is the greatest number. Arrange these numbers in ascending and descending order. That you can do, of course, you already know how to do that. And then you want to read these numbers, and meaning read, reading like, for example, 527,864 or 95,432. Write these numbers using placement boxes and then using commas in Indian as well as international system of numeration. Arrange these in ascending and descending order and take three more groups of large numbers and do the exercise given above. So you can do as many of these as you want. And then, of course, you can do these exercises as well. Of course, if it's too much, then as do as, as many as you want, as many as you think you need to do, essentially. So can you help me with write, with, uh, write the numerals? To write the numeral for a number, you can follow the boxes again. 
so for example the numbers that you can write using the boxes would be 42 lakhs 70 thousand 70 70 thousand eight for example that would be one number two crore nine ninety lakhs fifty five thousand eight hundred and seven crore sixty thousand fifty five and then basically there is this exercise over here so the the exercise has been given you can go through the questions and then see uh, if you um, i mean ideally you should be able to uh, you should be able to solve the problem if you give it a go and then see what happens if you do as many as you want of course okay so hopefully this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.